Hello, hi, my name is Dr. Sadiq. I'm one of the core surgical trainee working in UK in Birmingham. Uh, today, the topic of the video is to talk about MRCS examination. I know examinations are, uh, they take ever to for preparation. It's very stressing and you have to give this, these examinations to progress as well as to be a better clinician. Um, in the same way, I was in a similar dilemma when I was searching for the resources, where to look for it, I could not find anything. So I just thought of making this video so that with my experience, it can be helpful for everyone, everyone out there. So today we will be talking about the MRCS 6 Part A examination. We'll talk about uh, different colleges, cost, affordability and benefits and the resources used for this examination. So, so start off with uh, MRCS is designed to be test your knowledge of a level 3 or level 2 year of uh, surgical training. It is run by four different colleges, RCS, uh, Royal College of Surgeons of England, Edinburgh, Glasgow or Ireland. Uh, it doesn't matter which college you choose to, to give the examination to, you can as per your choice and availability of exam dates, you can sit with any college, it doesn't matter. The cost of the examination is £550. The third part is benefits. Um, so number one, it is uh, required in the syllabus of the curriculum of the surgical training in UK if you want to progress as a registrar or ST3 or further on training. You need to have a MRCS examination including MRCS Part A and Part B. Secondly, people who are graduating from uh, are uh, outside of UK are international medical graduates or even though even if they don't want to come to UK and uh, they want to improve their surgical knowledge and uh, give an examination, it could be beneficial for them as well. Now we will talk about the, the format of the examination. Um, it has two parts, part A and part B. Um, it is a five hour long examination divided into two parts. Part A uh, consists of testing your knowledge, your basic sciences and Part B is consisting of the knowledge of your surgical skills. Uh, you have to pass both of these parts separately in order to gain a com com cumulative score which will help you to pass. Um, so the passing rate varies a lot. It can be around 60 to 70 percent. Uh, it was the highest in September around 78 percent. Uh, but that was once in a blue moon but usually it's around 70 to 75 percent you need to score that much in order to pass the examination uh, depending upon that you pass both the parts part a and part b so now eligibility uh, so if you are from uk and uh, you have a gmc registration you work here uh, and your medical school is recognized by uk gmc then you can sit for examination I will, link, I will put a link to the website on which you can check whether your college is eligible and is known to GMC. If not, um, either you have to speak to your college or uh, uh, speak to GMC about the other ways to get is authenticated. Uh, then if you are from, uh, if you are international medical graduate, then you have to send off uh, your uh, degree, um, which is signed by and uh, authenticated by anyone who is already having a GMC registration. Uh, or maybe a consultant in your country. You can you have to send these documents, uh, including your passport and the photographs, to the uh, to the college uh, by post or by email. Uh, they will verify it. So part A is usually conducted around three times a year, in mostly in January, uh, May, and September. It can change uh, a bit according to the variability and situation. For example, this year due to COVID restrictions and also with the cancellation of January exam, they are booking a new exam in May. So now you can you can appear this exam. There are six total attempts which you can appear for this exam. And uh, these are the maximum after you will not be eligible to give this exam. Now we will talk about resources. The resources, uh, it can be different for different people. Uh, I will share you my own experience and time required to prepare for this examination. I would suggest uh, the person who is not working has can full can uh, give full time to the examination. It takes around two months to prepare for this examination. Whereas a person who is working full time, depending upon which specialty or which job is working on, it takes almost um, four to five months. The resources can be some books 
and some online mcqs so number one the books uh, so number one book is uh, mrcs by raftre basic sciences so that's the bible of mrcs part a it has a huge knowledge book and it will be very very very, very beneficial for your uh, future surgical knowledge and surgical skills uh, you can read that book um apart from that you can use a natter's anatomy which is a uh, in which you can study anatomy pictures and diagrams and because uh, mrcs has a huge chunk of uh, exam which comes from anatomy is around about uh, 30% of the exam itself and um, you have some video resources as well uh, for example atlant anatomy lectures they are really helpful i have studied those you can use them and third um, online mcq banks uh, one is emrcs it costs around 40 pounds the other is pass test um, mrcs part a and they cost around 100 pound depending upon um, how many months uh, you subscribe to it Uh, personally i used uh, mrcs uh, raftre book uh, natter's anatomy book and as well as uh, uh, emrcs mcq they were really helpful um they are uh, about emrcs and past test comparison i have used both but i would suggest to use emrcs the reason being emrcs consists of 2200 mcqs around about the 2200 to 2500 mcqs that are with explanations so basically what you have to do is uh, read through the examination try to solve it in the first go if you try to solve it it will be it will be very difficult for you i know because these are uh, some of the exam questions uh, which are repeatedly tested and but if you go through it four or five times you will be good at it then past year it's expensive it has uh, more thorough knowledge it is uh, it is uh, it has better graphics um i didn't use it ex- uh, used it extensively but i felt that in the exam the knowledge which, which was tested was mostly for emrcs um there's one thing uh, there is a f- sheet called fosia sheet it's basically a compilation of some past mcqs which are repeated uh, several times um have a look onto that repeat uh, them as well uh, in my exam they were rep- not the same exact mcqs but they were repeated um they basically tested the knowledge so i think they will be useful as well to cut short you will need fosia sheet emrcs and uh, mrcs draft ray and natus um uh, anatomy book so um, i hope this uh, video will help you i'll keep on um I'm making these videos and I will make a video about MRCS part A let me know if you if these uh, videos help you like subscribe and um, uh, share this video it may help others as well thank you